Okay, thanks. Uh, we uh, just got this in here from uh, the newsroom, Vermilion County. This is from Vermilion County. By order of the Vermilion County Board of Commissioners, a travel level of advisory has been set for all county roads and shall remain in place until 8 o'clock, April the 5th, 2014. Many county roads are covered in water from recent rain. So that's Vermilion County, a travel level advisory in effect for all county roads in Vermilion County. Now here's what you need to know. Anything you need to know, you can find at WTHITV.com. You'll have the latest on road closings and river stage information because these are constantly changing, especially as we get into the overnight hours and the rains begin to move back in. And so it looks like uh, we're going to be in for a stormy night tonight. Here is now the uh, rain that's moving into Crawford County, Illinois, over in Jasper County, Illinois, and then farther down just uh, south of uh, Vincennes into uh, well, uh, south of Knox County down to Princeton and then over to the east of that, uh, I'm sorry, west of that. We have some lots of thunder and lightning down and through there and a tornado watch in the far south part of Illinois. At this point, no tornado watches or warnings, no severe weather watches or warnings are in effect with the exception of a flood warning, which is in effect for the entire area of those of you watching here on the News 10 viewing area in Indiana. Over here in Illinois, a flood warning has not been issued as of yet, but as rain falls through the overnight hours, it is possible that that flood warning will be expanded to include those of you there as well. Right down and through here, this is where the tornado watches in effect for Illinois. As you can see, there's a very strong line of showers and thunderstorms, and this is going to be a hard one for us to dodge. I think it's headed in our direction, and so I think later on tonight that we have the possibility of showers and thunderstorms, gusty wind, some hail. This especially looks like it could be a wind event and some strong storms possible. Uh, Joseph Dames will be in here a little bit later on, and he and I will be here throughout the course of the evening till Lindsey Monroe gets in here. So Storm Team 10 has you covered when it comes to severe weather. Don't want to scare you, don't want to get you all upset, but I want you to be informed about what's going on. 63 degrees right now, 64 in Robinson, 61 in Casey, 12 mile per hour breeze from the southwest in Terre Haute, 15 in Robinson, 20 in Vincennes. Storm Team 10 Futurecast, this is midnight tonight. See, this is right as that cold front now starts to edge its way in. And so this rain and some heavy rain starts to move through here, six o'clock tomorrow morning. And then as we get further into the day tomorrow, the rain clears out probably by noon tomorrow. And then the temperature falls throughout the course of the day tomorrow. And then by tomorrow night, the overnight low drops down to about 32 degrees, but at least it will have stopped raining and storming. So uh, thunderstorms likely tonight. Some could be strong to severe, 55 for the overnight low. If that does happen, we will let you know. We'll try not to interrupt your programming any more than necessary, but we will let you know. And then for tomorrow, morning thunderstorms, heavy rain still possible in the morning, and then falling temperatures after a high of 55. And then partly cloudy, windy, and colder tomorrow night. This is going to be tough to take, down to 32 degrees for the overnight low tomorrow night. Saturday looks okay, 53. Sunday, 59. But more rain back in the picture by Monday and Tuesday with a high each day in the mid 50. So that's the way things seem to be shaping up, at least for right now.